Will the AFC North champion Bengals earn a home playoff game and beat the Ravens on Sunday? Hi again, everyone. I'm James Rapine, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Naturally, the earn part is a little shot at the NFL, but nevertheless, if the Bengals want to secure a home playoff game, they have to win on Sunday at Paycor Stadium. If so, they'll play either the Chargers or the Ravens next weekend in the wild card round at Paycor Stadium. So basically, well, they got to get a W. And we're going to dive into some keys to victory, also my prediction for this matchup. But first, I have to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone all week long that asked about where I was, if everything was okay, checked in on me. And then when you found out the news, the great news that uh, I revealed uh, on our last video about uh, our, our little newborn baby girl, that, uh, you know, just all of the congratulations from Twitter to right here on YouTube to Instagram. And um, it's been awesome to see. And my wife and I and the Rapine family as a whole, we really appreciate all of the support. And uh, one person I missed, and I shouldn't miss, and I promise I'm going to get to my keys to victory in just a second. So if you're like, what the heck is he talking about? Just stay tuned for like 10 more seconds. I shouted out Jake and I shouted out Andrew and Elise, but the guy who's dealt with the most from a professional standpoint when it comes to, to me and, and keeping things afloat, Russ Heltman has crushed it on allbangles.com. And it hasn't just been this week. And obviously, this is a weird week where I've thrown a lot at him because he does a lot of Bearcat stuff, 99% of our Bearcat stuff at allbearcats.com. But he's taken on a new role in recent months with uh, with the baby on the way and, and expanded his role at All Bengals. And he's been great and has crushed it. And I, I watched that video and I was like, well, I, obviously, I should have mentioned Russ. And so um, he's... Uh, been great, and, and so you should follow all of them, from Elise Jesse to Andrew Fox Miller, obviously Russ Helpman, Jake Lisko. They've uh, they've been awesome, and Russ killed it, continues to kill it. I think he's uh, he's previewing uh, or editing uh, Nicole Zembrot's um, matchups article for, for Sunday's game right now for allbengals.com. All right, that said, let's get into some keys to victory. Uh, key number one, don't get wrapped up, and this is much easier said than done, but all of the emotion that's gone into the past week, everything that's changed. You can use it as fuel, the, the NFL aspect of it, but it's been a long week. And regardless of what happens on Sunday, Sunday is just the start of what the Bengals are hoping is a long journey, what the Bengals are hoping is a, uh, a five-week process that, that doesn't start until next weekend. And they're not going to get a bye. We know that. Okay. Well, Beat the Ravens, get a home playoff game. Who knows? Maybe the, the Bills lose and you get a second playoff game at, at home. But find a way to channel it and use it. It's been a long week. It's been a tiring week. And yet you've won seven straight and you've put yourself in a position to go on a run. And that run, does it start Sunday? Sure. Part of it does because you want to secure home field in, in round one. At the same time, don't let that impact on the field. Once the game starts, once that coin toss happens, it's time to go. And I think this team has done a good job of that in general. And, and I'm interested to see how they handle it, but I, I think they're going to. Uh, the second thing, and whether it's Tyler Huntley, who it feels like there's at least an outside shot that he, he starts, and maybe by the time you see this, he doesn't. This is Saturday morning as I'm recording this. Or Anthony Brown starting. We know Lamar Jackson will not start. So what do you want to do against a... a Tyler Huntley or Anthony Brown. You want to get out early on offense and make them uncomfortable on defense. And how do you do that against this Ravens team? Shut down the run. So can you shut down this run game? I'm confident they can. And Sam Hubbard coming back is a huge boost. He's a tough guy. I, I thought that last week. I thought last week when he was practicing, it was like, okay, it looks like they're laying the groundwork for him to come back for Baltimore. And this game does have meaning. It might not have in another world if they had won uh, on Monday night, obviously, the game uh, doesn't exist anymore. And so with that, even though they are AFC North champions for a second straight year, first time in franchise history, they haven't secured a home playoff game. And so getting Sam Hubbard back to help stop the run is huge. Obviously, we know what DJ Reader can do uh, from that aspect as well. And then third, on offense, you want to do what you do. And to me, that's throw the ball. It's time. 
it's time to just unleash this passing offense. And they were doing it. They were doing it on Monday night. And it was like, oh, man, these boys are, are for real. They are coming. And we knew they were for real. And I, I went into it, into the Buffalo game, talking about how these wide receivers needed to win and win their matchup and needed to be the best unit on the field. And there was a lot of talk about offensive line and all of those things. But to me, the wide receivers needed to be the best unit on the field. And that's kind of got to be the case moving forward now. That's the strength of this team. It's Jamar Chase, who drew that pass interference on the first play from scrimmage. It's T. Higgins making plays. And yes, he made a great play. Um, and it was very, very unfortunate what happened uh, to Demar Hamlin. But that's a great football play. And it, it was everything else, J- Jamar Chase commanding the double team. I, I remember what happened on the play, and I, I turned to Mike Petralia, who covers uh, the Bengals for CLNS Media, and I, I turned to him and I said, oh, T. Higgins single coverage here. And you could just see it. And Jamar drew two guys. T flashes across the middle. Burrow hits him. And it's like, man, this is the offense that is nearly unstoppable. Burrow's seeing it. Burrow's playing at a high level. And so that's what you want. You want these receivers to dominate. You want this passing offense to dominate. That doesn't mean that you don't run the ball at all. Of course you do. And and you want to be not balanced, but you want to be efficient on the ground. But this is a passing offense. They got to do what they do, which is throw that that ball around. So we'll see if they can do that. I'm going to get to my prediction in just a second. But again, those keys, don't let the emotions of the the past week impact you and everything that's gone on to it on the field, off the field. It's been a lot. I get it. I understand it. Once the coin toss happens, compartmentalize it the best you can. And I know that's easier said than done. I know they're humans, but that's a factor going into this week for sure. And the Ravens are playing with house money. So shut down what they do well, the run game. And three, this passing offense, has to get going, well, not get going, has to keep it going because they've, uh, they've played really well in recent weeks and that is the strength of this team, no doubt about it. First, before I get to my prediction, a word from my bookie. My bookie is awesome. <laughs> it is awesome and it's awesome for a bunch of reasons, but I love this one because there's a lot of different uh, talk right now about different outlets you can go to, but whether you bet to earn or to make games more exciting, my bookie gives you the most for your money with their redesigned deposit bonus. It's a redesigned deposit bonus. What does that mean? It means it's convenient for you. If you use promo code Bengals Talk on a deposit of fifty dollars or more to receive a cash bonus, you're instantly going to get that cash bonus deposited, boom, into your my bookie account. And using the depo- uh, the bonus, simple. All you do is bet your deposit amount just once. Once and you can cash out. Just like that, you get that money and you can cash out, boom. All you have to do is use that deposit money. So whether it's on the Bengals to handle business against the Ravens, whether it's the Bengals to handle business in the postseason, or to get the job done that they nearly did last season, you can do that. And it's not just NFL, UFC, big cash prizes. They have weekly online blackjack tournaments all in one spot. So go to my bookie, use promo code Bengals talk, get that deposit bonus right now with a deposit of $50 or more. Again, promo code Bengals Talk at MyBookie. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie and promo code Bengals Talk. I like the Bengals in this game. And I just, I think that that is going to fuel them. Everything that happened this week from an NFL standpoint. And they feel disrespected. They feel like, all right, well, if we're the AFC North champions, I mean, Jamar Chase didn't even know it on Friday. Media had to tell him. That's wild. And, and so they don't get that celebration. They don't feel that validation. They don't feel that sense of, and so what are you doing? What does that do to competitors like Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase and DJ Reader and Sam Hubbard and Trey Hendrickson and you know T- Tyler Boyd? And I could go on and on, Mike Hilton. And I, I could name everybody on the team, by the way, Ted Karras. You go out and you win. And I think the Bengals are going to win. I think they're going to come out play at a high level. I think this defense is going to really slow down this Ravens offense, keep them in check for most of the game. And then on offense, will they stub their toe a little bit? Yeah, the Ravens know them well. But Joe Burrow knows the Ravens well too. And 19 to 17 was that that first matchup. I think this Bengals offense gets going a bit more than that. They handle business 27-13. The Bengals earn a home playoff game. And they also pull back the reins a little bit. You don't want to show too much because you're likely going to play the Ravens in that wild card round next week. And so I, I think that that's 
the play. I think that's what happens. The Bengals handle business. Again, if they can do those three keys, it's uh, it's going to go a long way towards them uh, winning. Make sure you check out my bookie. Use promo code Bengals Talk. And uh, man, I'm, I'm going to be there on Sunday. We'll do our pregame report from here at Rapine Manor. And then uh, I'll be at Paycor Stadium. That's the plan uh, to cover this game. And we will have post game reaction for you as well. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. And for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine signing off for now on CBT, Cincinnati Bengals Talk.